Season 3 of Warzone has launched and with it comes DLSS or Deep Learning Super Sampling. This was announced back in January and expected in Season 2, but it's finally here and I just want to talk about it briefly in this video because they can really only test it on Rebirth Island at the moment and it's not a great example of what this can do or how to use it. Once the new Verdansk map is available and I can get back into the training area, I'll be able to do consistent tests in the exact same location every time with multiple passes and get a clear cut answer as to how well this actually works. If you want to see the results of those tests, be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure notifications are on. Currently, I just ran through the decon area with DLSS disabled and then using all four presets, quality, balanced, performance, and ultra performance to see how each one affected the overall FPS. I did this at 1440p using max settings. I did this in decon area because it's by far the most taxing area on Rebirth Island and it also doesn't get a lot of foot traffic. With DLSS disabled, I was within margin of error of my original benchmark with the 3090 here, so I pretty much knew I was already where I was supposed to be, even though the map is slightly different and has completely different lighting. Using the exact same settings, I simply flipped on DLSS quality, and my FPS through the decon area jumped up from 158 to 191 average. Now this isn't an exact science or a great comparative benchmark, but it does give you an idea of what to expect. When I switched over to balanced mode, my average has only climbed up to 202 FPS or so. What I quickly discovered is that a bottleneck forms pretty quickly when trying to use performance mode at 1440p. My average only went up by 5 FPS to hit 207 average. This makes sense because of how CPU bound Warzone is, but you also shouldn't go above the balanced mode without expecting some serious hits to the quality of your image as well. Performance mode is really meant for 4K and above. I tried out Ultra Performance, which is meant to be used for 8K gaming, but it took my average FPS up to 222. Both Performance and Ultra Performance definitely cause a lot of flickering and degrade visuals at 1440p, but that's nothing new. They aren't meant to be used at 1440p. For that, I would just max out at using Balanced. So that's basically it for this video until I can get some more solid testing in. I'll also redo a ton of my 30 series benchmarks after I determine which preset is the best for each resolution. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.